Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to Starbound. So, as you can see, we're playing as someone new today. Uh, you may recall, if you've checked out any of the, my uh, previous mod spotlights, that we did a quick look at the slime rays a while back. And uh, since I made that episode, uh, it's been updated so that they have their own ship, and they have their cool little ship pet here, and they have their own custom sail and all kinds of cool stuff. So I figured we would, in addition to going vault hunting a day, or today, because I, I was uh, told that with the awesome slime traits, which involve uh, passive healing and a bunch of resistances to stuff, and generally just being cool, uh, I figured we would uh, also take a quick uh, revisit of the slime race. So first of all, let's uh, upgrade the ship. You also notice it gets some cool little flagellating movement there as it travels through space. But anyway, let's see how big and how cool this thing gets, shall we? All right, so we get ourselves a little lower floor here. I like the fact that it just automatically adds these little uh, platforms here instead of usual construction blocks. Really sells the idea that this is some kind of living organic ship of some sort. Ooh, oh my. Oh, I like this. It's big. That's some interesting sound effects. All right, I like this. I like this a lot. Alrighty then. It just keeps getting bigger and bigger, doesn't it? And we have two more tiers to go through. So let us quickly do so now. Alright, we have tier 7. My, this, there's a lot of space in here. I like this. This could become like a little atrium or something, I think. That would be cool. And of course, maximum size. This ship just keeps on going. My, there's so much room for storage in here. Or building a little colony or something. Who knows? The possibilities are endless. But that's not what we're here for today. What we are here for today is adventure. As we always are, really. Alright then, let's pop a key here. Uh, we've been to one of those before. Been to one of those before. Also been to that. We'll cycle through. We'll find, we'll find something new. Uh, we've been to an ice place, haven't we? Let's see. I'm pretty sure we have, so let's, uh, let's cycle through again. Fine. You know what? Uh, no, I will, I'll keep cycling through. We've been to poison. Also, you know what? I have admin commands on, because that's how I got those, uh, pretty sure we've been to one of these, but we'll go here anyway. Yeah, in fact, that's, as you can kind of tell with that, <laughs> because we don't have our actual proper inspect tool, that is why uh, we're here where we are, because I actually just start this character and then use some admin sheets just to get us up and running. Yeah, this was, this is definitely, we've been here before. And I, I know this especially because of these little, uh, these little uh, crevices here. Or crevices. What what kind of words am I using? Stalagmites and stalacites and other nasty things. Yes. Oh, I'm so gonna get us killed. I, I'm I'm hoping I'm wrong and we actually haven't been here because I'm pretty sure there's at least one more boss type that we have yet to see. Also, this was floating. That horrifies me. Down to the pit of my very soul. Anyway, but, uh, with any luck, but, oh, that's what that does. I mean, we'll, we'll kind of, we, we've been for these things. We know the drill by now, so we'll just kind of hop on through and attempt to find, oh dear. Just attempt to find the boss right away, if we can. So we can get an awesome little boss fight in here. Uh, also, I hope everyone had a good Christmas, at least to everyone who celebrates Christmas. Anyone who doesn't, well, I hope you had a good holiday nonetheless. That's right, you run away, you little scaredy ghost things. Yeah, Th that's also why it, it's been a little while since the last Starbound video, since I've been mostly relying, since 
I had some family over and such. Uh, mostly I was relying on episodes I had pre-recorded in order to keep uh, some semblance of a schedule going. And I grossly underestimated uh, the number of videos I actually had in reserve, resulting in a uh, kind of falling down from the usual schedule for a while. But now that uh, now that the holidays are over and I made a complete circle, wonderful. Uh, now that uh, holidays are over, we shall get back to our regularly scheduled programming. Ooh, what's this? A blueprint box. Blueprint box. I feel certain. This is from one of the many, many mods I've installed. I forget which one, but... Uh, that's the problem, really. Once you get so many mods, you eventually start forgetting which ones you've actually uh, got active. That's the hidden wall right there, if I were to guess. But let, let's put that to the test, shall we? Exactly. Uh, one problem with... Uh, the slime special jump is that you can get stuck if you're not careful. Not too stuck, though. Just stuck enough. Such as it is. Alright. So where is the boss in this place? I mean, it's not down this way. We've already been down here. Alright. Boingy. Boingy. Alrighty then. Where is the boss? Oh, that's... I might want to switch out from the, uh, slime unique one. Just because, uh, I get stuck. And then, oh my. This is not a place that I was meant to be. Fortunately, we're pretty much immune to poison. Oh, we are actually... Wait, are we immune to poison? Yes, we are immune to poison. We also have another blueprint box. Let's see, what blueprint was this? A store register. Which also appeared in both of those for some reason. Both slots, the last two there. Also, I, I feel like I may have mentioned this before, but in case I didn't, uh, along with the 1.2 update came a change. Uh, you can now actually uh, mod the hotbar. So if you didn't like the changes that were made right before 1.0, where they had like the double hotbar system and like, well, what it is right now and preferred the, uh, the pre 1.0 system. Uh, you can actually mod that now, so you can effectively... I mean, you can even add, so you have, instead of just two, I guess you could probably have, like, three or four or five or ten or ten thousand. You know, as many hotbars and or things as you would like, which I think is very good. Or you could just, I think, also just add more slots. If, uh, that poor creature. Don't know what it is, but, uh, the builders kind of screwed up on that one because that guy is not immune to poison. And you'd figure he would be since the builders kind of just chucked him in here with all the other poison monsters, so... I don't gotta feel bad for that guy. He got stuck in there. Oh wait, there is a, a monument here that may or may not be a sign. No, it's not a sign of anything, unfortunately. We are getting a reasonable amount of essence on this character though, which I guess is a good thing. I, I hate, I hate their fancy ability to become transparent and, you know, generally phase out of reality. So annoying. Alright, this is still not the right place, so... Oh boy. These places are certainly a labyrinth, aren't they? A labyrinth that tests my patience every time. Anyway, um... Alright, well, here's another dead end. So I figure, as usual at this point, I will and I cut away until we find the boss, and I will see you guys in a moment. Ah, and here we are at long last. Alright, what are we dealing with here? Yober? Yober? Okay, this place looks different. This is a somewhat differently designed battle, I think, maybe. Right. I mean, his attack pattern, not entirely different. Oh, he also doesn't seem to have any uh, particularly new and or unique abilities, unfortunately. Oh my. 
Oh dear. Unfortunately for him, as I just kind of slowly whittle him away over here. Let's see who does more damage. Ha 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 ha! You can't beat the power of blue, my friend. Slime race forever! Now I assume part of the reason why uh, slimes are so ridiculously overpowered here is uh, mostly due to the fact that since they're resistant to pretty much all damage types on virtue of being slimes, uh, the kind of damage that you would expect to see here... Uh, are you invincible now? You appear to be invincible now. Alright, I'm not entirely sure what uh, what is happening here, but there is a change in mechanics halfway through the battle that I appreciate. Uh, is it a simple matter of just killing this thing, or is there more to it than that? Nope, it's just a matter of killing him. Alright. I mean, I'll be honest with you, it's uh, oddly annoying. And I was going to try to use this non-cheat weapon here. Uh, and I say it's a cheat weapon because it's uh, a Violium Broadsword Mark III, which is an item you can get in... Again, one of the many, many mods I've showed off at various points in time, and I've forgotten exactly which mod, but as you can see, I mean, it's like a tier 10,000 weapon, so... Effectively, it makes me invincible. Oh, what was the name of the mod? Weapon Enhancement? Weapons... No, Weapon Enhancement, that, that was something different. Uh, oh, what was it? Weapon upgrade? Maybe that was it. Possibly. And the armor is from the Shell Guard mod. And he is dead. Alright, as you can see, these weapons kind of... They speed the process along. Wait, this is only a Mark II? I thought this was a Mark III. Apparently I only made the Mark II. The Mark III, as you could probably imagine, would be even more ridiculously overpowered. Also, wait, what was this? An ocular. I'll be honest, I thought that said occult for some reason. But alas, it was just ocular. Which is not bad, it's just not what I was looking for. Anyway, it also occurs to me as I finish this battle and prepare to wrap this episode up, I said last time that we were going to do something other than vault raiding, didn't I? Apparently I made a liar of myself. That kind of is unfortunate, but oh well. Once I get uh, the whole schedule back in order, I'll definitely make the time to do a little bit of building, because I do want to get back to that, uh, that city in the sky that we were working on way, 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 way back. But anyway, I think we'll wrap things up here with this quick revisit of the slime race and yet another boss rush style vault attack thingamabob. Which actually, now that I think about it, you know what would be really cool? Would be an actual boss rush mode in this game. Like, uh, just literally a series of boss battles, one after the other. I'm gonna have to see if someone has made a mod of that, or if modders have not yet done such a thing, if such a thing could be done, creating, like, a custom mission where you literally just see how many bosses you can get through in one go. I think that would be pretty cool. But anyway, with that idea in mind, I'm gonna wrap things up here. So until the next time, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video.